Keeping programs going during a pandemic is crucial for a nonprofit organization, especially when the need is greater. And all new at 5, WPTV News Channel 5's Michelle Casada shows you how an increase in grants available are helping local organizations serve their communities. The colors of the LGBTQ flag wave vibrantly outside the Compass Community Center in Lake Worth. The center's doors are still open for everyone, but a lot has changed during the pandemic. We're paying for things like a Zoom subscription so that we can have meetings. Um, all of our therapy sessions are now happening virtually that way. Claudia Harrison with Compass says the community center offers a variety of activities and programs for LGBTQ youth. And for the past two years, grants have kept one vital program going. We found them through Grant Watch back in 2019. And the funding we received for them is a crucial part of our youth mental wellness program that allows us to offer mental health therapy to youth clients free of cost to them. On GrantWatch.com, there are grants for nonprofit organizations, businesses, and individuals. This year, the website is seeing a 44% increase in available grants compared to the same time last year. I think that the need is greater. And the people that give grants are realizing that the need is greater. We see that the foundations are uh, that used to only fund nonprofits are now funding businesses and individuals. Libby Heikind, founder of Grant Watch, says the pandemic has caused more grants to become available for tourism, clinical research, and mental health. Compass just applied for a $25,000 grant to continue funding its youth mental wellness services. Without grants, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of what we do here. Michelle Casada, WPTV News Channel 5. If you are in need of some financial help, WPTV has you covered. There are resources listed right now on our website that you may be able to take advantage of. Just click on the Rebound tab for more information.